Welcome, and thanks for joining to watch this 15-minute presentation on what you can expect if you are moving to Colorado near Buckley Air Force Base, so the Aurora or Denver, Colorado area. Please feel free to pause the presentation at any time if you would like to take a screenshot or write down any information. Also, please note that the presentation will always be available on YouTube and the CAF Connection website. I hope that you are excited about this posting opportunity as there are so many things to do and see here. Points have been gathered from fellow Canadians after settling into Colorado in hopes of easing the transition by avoiding surprises and having realistic expectations for newcomers. Let's get started. Buckley Air Force Base is located in Aurora, Colorado, just minutes from Denver. The base is situated against a backdrop of the Rocky Mountains. Aurora is the third most populated city in Colorado and the largest city in the state by land area. The city has about 374,000 people and is mainly in Arapaho County, which has a population of about 656,000 people. Colorado is home to multiple professional sports teams, including the Rockies, the Broncos, and the Avalanche, and the tallest sand dunes in North America can also be found here. Colorado is in the western United States. The next nearest major city to Aurora is Denver, the capital of Colorado and the largest city in the state. Denver is a city that has a population of about 620,000 people. This is known as the Mile High City because the city is one mile high exactly from the steps of the Colorado State Capitol. We are situated more than a mile above sea level at the foot of the Rocky Mountains, making high altitude quite the adjustment for most. The state itself is surrounded by land on all sides with the Palmer Divide to the north, the plains and grasslands to the east, the desert lands to the south, and the Rocky Mountains to the west. Colorado is known for its gorgeous landscapes, its wildlife, and the variety of activities it offers year-round. If it takes place outdoors, it's popular in this state. From hiking, mountain biking, horse riding, skiing, snowshoeing, fly fishing, golfing, kayaking, or even just unwinding amidst nature. It is famous for its forests, mountains, mesas, hot springs, and sand dunes. Arapaho County has a population just over 650,000, with a median age of just 37. The primary language is English, with some Spanish and no French beyond our Canadian community and schools. Arapaho County is home to some of the nation's largest companies, representing the aerospace and defense, biosciences, broadband, construction, engineering, financial services, healthcare, hospitality, information technology, and advanced manufacturing industries, among others. Aurora is vast in size, and it's spread out. Most of our Canadians live directly in Aurora, but some Canadians do choose to live in Parker, Centennial, and Highland Ranch. We have a total of 16 CAF members, some with families, assigned to Buckley Air Force Base. Buckley's Air Force Base host unit, Buckley Garrison, falls under the direction of the United States Space Force. The base is the home of 460th Space Wing, the mission of the wing is to defend the United States with air operations, surveillance of airspace, space communications and operations, and the space-based warning systems. There are three groups under the wing command, operations, mission support, and the medical group. Also housed at the base are the Colorado Air National Guard and the Colorado Army National Guard. This base has a base exchange and commissary, both of which are considered medium-sized, the base exchange includes a mini mall with standard shops such as beauty, barber, alterations, dry cleaning, florist, optical shops, and fast food outlets. There is a medical clinic and small hospital on base. Emergency and urgent care services are provided only for military members here. Spouses and dependents will need to be seen off base. Military Family Services has composed a list of dental and medical offices that direct bill Alliance Global for ease of finding providers for our families. Families can access services from the pharmacy for prescription through the military member. These are the main challenges related to an outcome posting. 
FAQ sheets were created on this topic and can be found on the CAF Connection website. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you cannot find the information you are looking for. Families with children. For families with children, there are many childcare options available to you. Please check the Child Care Services section on the CAF Connection website to find out more about your options. The average cost of daycare in Aurora is $1,837 per month. Note that there are a lot of faith-based child care providers here in Colorado. Make sure that you do your own research to select the right provider for you. School can also be very different. Military Family Services has a specific document about education. You can also talk to your CEM or Children's Education Management Counselors to see what supports can be available for your children if they are needed. Employment. Obtaining your employment authorization document or your social security number will require a lot of patience. You will not be able to start the process until you have arrived in the U.S. FAQ sheets are available to guide you through this process. Take the time to read and understand the process and ask questions if needed. While in the process, you can apply for EI. See the local resources available to help you learn about jobs that are available in the area and specific professional requirements. Employment services are available at the Family Readiness Centers at Buckley Air Force Base. We also recommend that you look at the Foreign Service Directive 17.2.1 to learn more about employment-related allowances. Remember that because of COVID, making appointments can be harder and processing times can also take longer. This is the same for vehicle registrations and for obtaining your Colorado driver's license. Healthcare can also be a struggle. The insurance billing process can sometimes feel overwhelming, but the CDLS Washington medical staff have recorded sessions about how to file claims with Alliance Global and TRICARE. CDLS Washington will offer information sessions during the fall. You can attend and ask questions. Also, make sure that you are properly registered with the TRICARE system after your arrival. Remember that dependents cannot use the U.S. medical facility at Buckley Air Force Base, but you do have access to the pharmacy with the military member's information. Some differences from Canada. State gun laws. The Colorado gun laws allow the carrying of a handgun, whether it is open or concealed, doesn't matter. Driving habits. Most Coloradans don't slow down at yellow lights. It's suggested you do a quick check in your rear view mirror before coming to a stop, as there may be someone behind you who might have a different plan. Texting on cell phones while stopped at a red light is also allowed and will be seen often. The school year typically runs from mid-August through to the end of May versus September to June. For language, French is very limited in this area. Military Family Services does offer some French resources to bridge this gap, and different school districts offer more French options than others. But be prepared, you won't have the same level and access to French as you do back in Canada. The altitude and climate. With the entire state being a mile or more above sea level, the altitude can take some adjustment. For the first couple of months, some people may find that they lose their breath with very little exertion, you might get frequent nosebleeds, dry skin, or headaches. It's important to give yourself time to acclimate and drink plenty of water. Americans do tend to have very strong political opinions and can be very vocal about them. As a Canadian, it's best not to participate in such conversations. The military presence in the United States is also different. There is a strong military support and presence. This is primarily due to the number of bases in the state. With this said, don't forget to ask for military discounts when shopping or dining. Colorado is a semi-arid climate, meaning it is very dry, mostly sunny, and it averages 248 days of sunshine per year. As in most places, springtime is the most unpredictable. This is the time of year we begin to experience brief, sometimes unexpected, afternoon hail or thunderstorms. This is also the time of year where we will continue to see the odd snowstorm well into April and sometimes even May. 
As for our winters, we don't see too much snow in a season, and whatever we do get tends to melt just as quickly as it got here. However, don't be surprised if the base announces delayed reporting or school gets canceled due to just a few flurries. Snow can have a major impact on the overall functionality of the city. For those true snow lovers, no need to worry. Just travel a couple of hours west into the mountains and you will find all the snow your heart desires. Hailstorms are most likely to occur in the early spring. They are not something that needs to be feared, but can cause damage to personal property such as cars and roofs, so be aware. Colorado does, however, experience roughly 500,000 lightning strikes per year. These mostly occur in the mountain ranges, so again, not something to be feared, but it is suggested that if you're planning to hike during the summer or spring, that you are off the high peaks by early afternoon. Other natural disasters that can occur in the mountainous regions are forest fires, flash, flooding, and even avalanches. While you are posted to the U.S., our goal as Military Family Services is to provide you and your family with the support and information that we have to help make this posting the best it can be. We hope to ease the transition between Canada and the U.S. and help you settle and thrive in your new community. Our programs and services are developed or identified in the community to meet the needs of our Canadian Armed Forces members and their families posted to the United States. If there is something that we can do to help ease your transition, please let us know. Here is the local Military Family Service Coordinator contact information. They can help with questions that you may have and provide the information needed to help you and your family with your move to Colorado. Note that the MFS Coordinator's Office is located in Colorado Springs. Once you have your posting message, please contact the Military Family Service Coordinator and they will be happy to add you to our secret Facebook group and our local email distribution list so that you will start to receive our news, programs, and local information. Make sure that you're reaching out with a personal email account. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this helps prepare you for your posting to Buckley Air Force Base. The state of Colorado has so much to offer. You will also discover that we have a strong, supportive Canadian community, and we look forward to welcoming you and your family.